Hey everyone, hope you guys are having a nice day, nice night, nice morning, whenever you're watching this. Now today's video uh, is long overdue. I'm going to talk to you guys about university with my view, my points, um, what you can expect, uh, what you should do, shouldn't do, uh, just little tips and tricks here and there. Um, because I know you guys are just about to start uni properly. Now, a uh, quick rundown of my course, I'm doing support and education at the University of Derby, formerly known as Derby University, I don't know why it changed. Um, I actually went to attend this morning, however I arrived very late as traffic was absolutely horrendous and so in the end I didn't turn up, which is a bad start I know, but I don't officially start till Monday, so it's not the end of the world. And I'll, I will be making sure that I turn up on time that day. My course involved all the aspects uh, of university life, including presentations, uh, practical work, essays, and coursework. So I wanted to sort of give you a rundown of what uni life is really like, what you can expect when you go. Apologies for the tapping and the creaking of my desk. I'm leaning on it. I have already tried to record this once, however my video recording cut out after 11 minutes, I didn't realise there was a 10 minute timer on 4K video, and so I was 38 minutes into it, and it went a bit odd, however it's going to be a lot shorter than that because I'm going to miss out what I talked about at the start, because I found I was talking quite a bit about my course for like 25 minutes when I really wanted to be talking about uni itself. Now, I'm not saying this is the same for every uni. Every uni is different. Every uni will be different. There's a reason all unis are different. It's to entice different types of people and different courses and different specialities and different subjects. So, I've got uh, my notes just up to the left. Are basically questions to myself or points that I like to make to you. Now, I will give a bit of a rundown of my course. I liked my lecturers. Um, my first year went okay. It wasn't good. It wasn't bad. I mean, I passed and I'm on to the next year. So it can't be the end of the world. Let me move this out of the way and get a bit more comfortable. I just want you guys to be able to see me. So. I didn't give it 100%. I will admit. It was a bit. Accept her guidance. 
re-record every 10 minutes. Anyway, so, my first sort of section is going to be about uni life. So, talking about um, going to uni, other options, uni life, is it like going out, making friends, etc. So, uni life. Uh, my first question to myself was, do you need to go to uni? Now, this is a very important question. I will apologise as well if I don't get the camera placement right again. I'm going to quickly set something there, just so I know where to place the camera next time. Do you need to go to uni? Yes and no. Now the first thing that you need to consider is what you want to do as a career. Now I know that many people, whether you're in your last year of college, um, doing an apprenticeship, um, looking at going into uni, you have just applied for uni, even if you don't know what you want to do, that's not a bad thing, but I have some sort of directive, because in today's society, in today's sort of generation, many, many jobs, a lot of jobs depend on having a degree of some sort, whether that's achieved through college, university, or an apprenticeship, or experience. A degree is often needed. Now for me, I wanted to go into teaching. I've always known that I've wanted to do something support oriented, orientated. And so, knowing that I needed to get some form of teaching degree, I went into support and education and I'm going to go do a PGCE afterwards. However, if researched your area and it doesn't need a degree, don't go to uni, there's no point, it's just a lot of hassle, you do get into student debt, even though it's not technically debt, debt but you get that explained to you anyway. Um, I'm hoping someone doesn't interrupt me, no. and yeah, so it's just a bit, you need, you need to be clued up about what it is you're actually going to do, what it is that you're aiming for. with people that live in the similar area as me, so a few of my friends that live in Long Eaton, 
going to uni. Um, the thing is, everyone it comes from a completely different place. There's only one person in my course that comes from Birmingham. Only one person that comes from Wolverhampton. Only one person. Oh no, there's two people that come from like, well, like three or four people that come from like Derby area. But that's because it's Derby Uni, and they're just going to commute in. But from anywhere else, you have like one person from everywhere, so everyone's literally in the same boat. If you can make friends with the majority slash all of the people in your class, you're going to be set for your uni life. And I say that because often you rely on them to take notes when you're not there, help you in presentations. If if for say there's one like one or two people you don't like in your group and you get put with them for a presentation, you're gonna do worse in that presentation or practical examination because you don't get on with them, there's not that chemistry between you, whereas I've gone in and I've tried to make friends with everyone and I think I'll have to be fair, I don't think there's anyone that I can walk into uni and not speak to or just be a bit like, you're alright, everyone I can come to like, ah, oh, you're alright, yeah, and everything's fine and because of that uni life has become a lot easier in terms of the group work group projects, sharing knowledge and say someone like, oh I can't make it, I've got a dentist appointment and they're like, yeah no worries, I've got you covered, it's, it's, it's just a lot easier once you've made that sort of friend. Now, my last point I've sort of already covered but it is turning up, please, please, please make sure you do turn up to as much as you can, I'm going to hopefully go for 100% attendance this year, whether I can do that because of doctors, dentists, hospital appointments. usually a lot of a 
associate with just like a classroom where a teacher comes in, hands out tasks and questions and is a bit more on a personal basis. There's less of you in a room, it's more specific. And for physiology we had a, se a seminar straight after a lecture where the tutor would come in and he'd say, look, this is what you do. Um, think about what we've just learned in that lecture. This is how we'd apply it. These are questions that may come up on an exam that you can have, etc, etc. And he'd just like, he'd focus on more the application and he'd ask you more questions, there'd be more tasks involved.
so that really helped me. Whereas Pete liked little, little, this is for psychology, Pete liked the fact that you'd have like a little nugget of information that was completely irrelevant to what you were talking about, but it sort of showed that you did some outside research. So for every slide on my presentation, I just had like a little fact file in the bottom corner. And I think that really aided in my presentation because he was like, oh, I didn't know that. And it was like, he got his head thinking, you know what, he's done some extra research because for quite a lot of the assessment criteria involves showing and showing and like knowledge of wider curricular reading and activities, which just means that if you've done your research, so if you can show that in some way, absolutely spot on, perfect, that gets ticked off straight away, and you don't have to actually show evidence of the research that maybe is relevant to what you're talking about, more the fact that you've shown that you have done wider reading, because you know these little extra facts about a few things that you could have just googled, so that's always a bit of a tip. I'm going to, right, so I'm back again, um, there's not so much to talk about anymore, so there's only a few more things, so, uh, my last little point is about note taking when you're in lectures and seminars, is I've got something written down that says paper or laptop. Now, again, I can't quite remember why I wrote that, because both have their benefits, but maybe that's why I did write that, is to give you my viewpoint. I took a laptop in last year because, A, my handwriting is atrocious, I always like the energy to write up notes if I've taken it on paper and then go home to write it up. But this year, I'm probably going to be doing that. Um, one or two reasons. One, let's start with, let's start with talking saved and nothing else 
because chances are that is very important and there's a reason he didn't include that in the PowerPoint. Maybe it's because it's going to come up on the assessment or on the exam or it directly links to your assessment criteria and so he technically can't put it into it but he has said it out loud. Make sure you write it down. I think that's pretty much all I've got to say for University Live so far. You know, and just make sure you go into it with the correct mindset of I want to do this, I need to do this, I need to turn up, I need to do well, I need to give it my absolute best shot. Make sure you're doing, see for me, they always say make sure you do more reading, make sure you're doing reading outside of this, make sure you're researching in your area, that's fine but half the time it's very difficult to find the correct things you need to read and that will often be a reading list. Um, either as part of your course or as part of your module that allows you to see what you need to be reading. If you can if you can find them online like I did free of charge from a certain website then that's fine. If you have to buy them then I, th I do think it's a bit ridiculous some, like some of the books I wanted this year were like 300 or 400 pounds. No. If they're that expensive
viewer title. In fact, yeah, AS. AS Glamour video. You know, you fill all of these out. So 
there you go, you've seen me talk about how to reference um, as you go along an essay in a Word document. So I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you later.